Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now we've got the car PM9 Covert. The PM9 is car's most popular model. People love it for pocket carry. It's a great shooting gun. It's definitely a good looking gun. But the Covert model extends the grip a little bit and uses a seven round magazine. So you get the additional round, plus it has a rail and the same slide that the car PM9 uses with a three inch barrel comes standard with night sights and you can see they put the serial tag right there on the grip opposed to the dust cover but it's a, a phenomenal gun now I have the car PM9 I'm going to show you the differences of, of the sizes between the Covert and the PM9 but we're a little bit of ways here let's go ahead and take a few shots and see how this PM9 Covert does All right, handles just like every car that I own. And one of the advantages is that the heavier recoil spring cuts down on the felt recoil. And so you hardly feel anything at all. I mean, it just diminishes and severely decreases the recoil with that, that heavy recoil spring. But three finger contact is what you get with the Covert opposed to the car PM9. Now here is the original. Many people pocket carry. You can see that it does have the same slide. Same exact one. I actually put uh, this one on to the Covert. It worked fine. Both three inch polygonal rifled barrels. Both have the six and a half pound double action trigger pull. But the difference is right there. That's it, about a quarter inch difference on the grip. Both have night sights, uh, two finger contact with the original car PM9. Covert allows three finger contact with a seven round magazine. But what I also have here are my self defense loads. All right, so this, this Covert will accept a seven round magazine from the K9, the CW9, the S9, and any other nine that's out there uh, around the same size. But here are l -Tech self defense loads. I use these quite often. Let's see how the Covert fires these. All right, no problem there. One of the loads that, that I've recently learned that, peop that, that some guns have trouble with is the federal HST loads. And I've got, I don't know, maybe eight left. Let's load it up with federal HST and see how well the PM9 Covert handles them. Here we have federal HST. The hollow point has a wider opening. Let's see if the PM9 will charge itself. Yep, if I slam the mag home, it will. Same distance. Let's start with the top left. Yep. All right, so the PM9 Covert handled it, no problem. I enjoy the three fingers on there. I feel more in control of the gun than with the original PM9, although the original has some advantages, especially with pocket carry. I said on my tabletop review that this is a combination of the car P9, the same size as the CW9, just in the, the P series, and the PM9. All right, with the three inch barrel, it has the same grip length as the P9, all right, three finger contact. And yet with the, the smaller barrel and slide. So it's a very nice carry gun. Now, the one thing that the, the P series, the PM9 series, the, the higher end car guns, they have a lifetime warranty, which I think is cool. And what I like about them is they are so light they, they, you know, 0.91 inches wide on the slide. They carry so, so nicely. And, and people say, you know, you actually lose the gun on you. And that really doesn't happen as much as, as most people say. But it does happen more often with the car models because they are so light. Now, what is interesting is that this is the exact same weight with eight rounds as the original car PM9. 25 yards away. 
PM9 Covert. How about a liparous test? Very nice. It passed. So there it is, the car PM9 Covert. Really enjoyed it at the range. I had high expectations with this. I have a lot of experience with car handguns. I'm a huge fan, and I really do love the seven rounds that the PM9 Covert offers. I think this is going to be a big hit for car arms. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.